The Mazu Islands of Taiwan are made up of 36 small islands and are ranked as the world's fifth must-see islands. However, the archipelago is also haunted by marine debris coming from China. We now take you there to witness this growing problem. Can you believe it? I'm standing on a pile of marine debris the size of a small hill. This is the embankment of Mazu's Qinsui village. Behind the protection of the embankment is the 12-hectare Qinsui wetlands, a national preserve. But instead of seeing migratory birds and fiddler crabs, one sees piles of garbage from the sea. During typhoon season, even with the protection of the embankment, most of marine debris still makes its way into the wetlands affecting the organisms living there. Every winter marine debris from China is carried by northeast seasonal winds and ocean currents to the north side of Mazu's 36 islands. Take Nangan Island, for example. During winter and spring, the shores on the north side of the island, including Qingshui wetlands and Niujiao Beach, all take on trash. During this period, areas on the south side of the island, like Renai Village Beach, which faces away from the seasonal winds, will not see a lot of trash. Pristine sands as far as the eyes can see, this is the beach of Mazu Zhenai Village. There isn't a lot of trash here yet, because the wind and current don't come this way. However, when the wind and current change between May and October, tons of marine debris will come this way. By April and May, when winds come up from the south, there will be a lot of trash here. By summer, the southern side of Mazu will be taking on wind, and therefore, a lot of marine debris while the northeastern shores will see a decrease in trash, and thus marine debris goes around and around. The archipelago cleans out over 800 tons of marine debris a year. One-third is styrofoam, one-third is wood and bamboo items, and the rest is various common trash items. There are two high tides in a day, so though we may have just finished cleaning, when the next high tide comes, more debris will be brought in. The local government is out of solutions, while local fishermen complain that the debris has affected their fishery, polluted the sea and even damaged their boats. Typically, plastic ropes and bags will get caught up in the propeller of the motor. Once that happens, the motor will shut down. 20% of Mazu shorelines are sandy beaches, but the other 80% are rocks and reefs. Due to the steep terrain, debris that washes up in these areas cannot be removed and will remain a part of the landscape. With our current manpower, we are already having a hard time coping with the trash on the beach. For those caught in the rocky shores, there is just nothing we can do. The trash will just sit there and continue to accumulate until perhaps a typhoon comes and then you will be washed away. The local government tries to intercept the debris by setting up a wall of nets in the sea. However, several months later, rough seas totally destroy the plan. To contain the problem of marine debris takes more than setting up barriers or investing in cleanup efforts. Only by tackling the problem at the source can residents living near coastlines be free from the nightmare of endless trash.